everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I'm your host, Lasan Fay, and let's go do a little mission. A little action. For ya. On Noveria. And oh boy, who are we gonna bring with us? Could bring Tolly. Right? Oh, I can. Yay. So, um, hmm. Those fighting Cerberus. So, actually, I'm going to bring Ashley. And Edie, I think. Because this will be fun. Okay. Do I have any other mods? No, I guess not. Um, you're good there. Ashley, your weapons need mods. You need better weapons. Okay. Accuracy, um... Yeah. We'll do damage increase for ya. And... Hmm. Let's see. Popular in the terminus systems. Uh, let's see what you do. All right, those these are the things that affect it. Okay. All right, so. There is that. Um, I'm just doing a quick comparison. Because you don't care about weight or capacity. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know what, sure. We'll, we'll go with this. For Ashley, um, all right, Shepard, you're good. Wow, I took a lot of Paragon. Um, let's see. Uh, weapon damage, tech damage. Yes, please. Okay. Oh shit! Balls. Commander, the enemy has a strategic advantage in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about to attack. All we right. want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for a frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. All right. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Deal. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's got to be now. Let's do it. Oh, 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 uh, level up Ashley in a second. Oops. Uh, hang on. Um... Let's see, accuracy bonus. Uh, all right. Let's see, where? Yeah, you're, you're gonna. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, just squad mates. That'd be great. And... You are gonna hit... Hard and fast. Peter, you'll have to find the command center to take down their defenses. Keep an eye out for the command center. Lock and load. Ah. Why? going. Okay, clear the area. Well, let's go up here. Oh. Targeted me on that one. Neutralized, Shepard. Looks like we found the control center. Indeed. Let's run around and grab things real quick. This location. Keep your eyes open. We're getting close. Right behind you, Shepard. personnel have been processed integration protocols updated successfully hmm all right there's an upgrade I was looking for all right where are they Like, I know the mission thing is over there. That's not what I'm looking for. There is another thing for me to pick up here. Unless I grabbed it and, and being bad about remembering grabbing it. Okay, that was the ramp down. Hmm. 
More ammo. Alrighty. Maybe I grabbed it? I didn't think I had. Ugh. Damn it. This will take a while. Edie. Edie, front and center. As you command. Be ready, Commander. You're gonna get swarmed. Oh, yeah. Commander, I've been flushed from cover. Retreat to minimum safe distance. No problem, Cortez. Get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Morning. Okay. Because, you know, right now is totally a good time to go and upgrade things. Um... Not really detonating stuff at the moment, but Ashley... Bring down their defense. We'll worry about that later. Alright. that shutdown requires the synchronous command. Okay. Defense system deactivated. General order 7 slash 7 triggered. Establish contingency defenses. Cerberus is deploying manual defenses to the landing pad, Shepard. Then that's where we need to go. All right, let's go, you two. Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your way. Yeah. Activity alert. Deploying armed response. Shepard! Give it everything you've got. What are we... 
Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Get out of that. We'll do that. Now the deck is clear, Shepard. Anyone wounded? Indeed. I'm good. Thought we were out of the woods. Ah, nah. Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. Lovely. I don't think I found what I was looking for. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. Unless I picked it up. I was looking for some heating unit stabilizers. I don't remember picking them up. Where are we? Admiral Ron. Shepard, the fleet is under heavy fire. We need to hit the dreadnought. Okay, yep. Uh... I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Okay. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Admiral Chorus coordinates them. Though individual ships captains still have power. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Okay. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But... But before we began this war, we jury-rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships had cannons. Actually, I do think... Use what you've got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a dreadnought. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real dreadnought, but they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. Indeed. Um... What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Alright. Um... Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. All right. Well, thank I'll you let for... you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Hi, Tully. That dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. Yeah. How did the war with the Geth get started, anyway? Let's... Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. It does actually sound useful. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. Indeed. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. True. I don't know. 
Maybe if I had the right incentive? No, that's not... My people need me here. Uh-huh. All right. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Taddy. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. Uh-huh. And... So what about Legion? It returned to Geth space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. Okay. Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy? I could have warned it about the invasion. I didn't. You'd, You'd have been bad. betraying your own people. I never wanted to be an admiral. Yeah. Okay. Well. Talk to you later, Tally. If you we want will. to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Yep. That'll happen after we deal with the dreadnought. So, Sarah, about your buddy, the one who joined Cerberus, you heard from him? No, I cut ties, reported him for whatever good that did. No way I want that crap on my record. And Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Okay. Um, who? From Javik. Uh, Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assume Specialist Trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel next time we travel there. In my lifetime, it had been captured by the Reapers. If you would like to join me, I will be in the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of galactic control shared among races is a lie. Um, yeah. Getting away from work. Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself away from all these monitors. Come see me the next time we dock at the Citadel. Take a break. Shepard, I thought next time we're at the Citadel, maybe we could take a break. Can't fight a war without a little R&R &R once in a while. I'll be hanging around C-Sec near the shuttles if you're interested. Um, Shepard, I discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad, but if there's something else going on, I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet, send you a nap point when you get here. Shepard, my sister got everything set up at the Citadel Memorial. She showed me what she's going to put up on the wall. It's nice. I wish I could do something to make this easier for her. She wants me to say something about her family. I know you're busy, but it would mean a lot if you could be there. Ashley. All right. Lovely. Okay. Well, originally I was going to make a quick trip to the Citadel to turn a bunch of stuff in. Um... But Garrus mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. Yeah. <laughs> That's us. Trouble with a capital T. Alright, leave. Actually, how's my fuel? Not great. But... Here. Enough to get me back up here? I believe. Which I also think there is fuel here. Oh, 
nope, nope. I chose wrong. I chose badly. Loops. It's okay. Alright, we got some Asari engineers. And a nice quick trip to here. I don't want to spend all my credits. <gasps> um, okay, fine. You know what? We will go to the Citadel. I will turn things in. At least some of them. Uh, no, the Alliance docks. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh, send me to the embassy. I need to get to the embassies. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Great. Attacked, but Alliance forces were able to evacuate all and Javik's over there. Okay. Uh, you could send the girl to your side of the family. Are you kidding? My family disowns me. Uh, wrong door, wrong door. Sorry, Bailey. Spectre status recognized. Okay. Um, the Lulus Ambassador Din Corlac's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him at any public location at this time. Okay. Oh, shit. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? Yeah. He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. The enemy of my, my enemy is my friend? My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Okay, yeah. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. Fair. I couldn't. Fair, yeah. All right. Okay, good. <laughs> yep, I did not find them. Uh, close. Okay. Nothing else? Nothing else? All right. All right, fine. Since I, I did walk in here earlier. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Indeed. How are you doing? Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. 
Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Hey. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. Yeah. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. Okay. All that time you were working for Adina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead. And you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. Indeed. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying. And crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. Indeed. Well... No time to... for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. Okay. So I know Bailey gives us Okay. Um Spectre terminal thing at one point. Lieutenant Commander Ashley Williams, the second human Spectre, assisted Commander Shepard in preventing Cerberus forces from killing the council. Uh-huh. Yep. No Alright, well, hmm. I think, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here and maybe do a couple of other quick things next time we're back, but then Geth Dreadnought, I promise. I want to thank you all so much for tuning into this episode, and in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, and happy trails.